Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a seamlessly scalable UI in Unreal. So, if you see, uh, it's seamlessly scalable. Even at strange resolutions, it doesn't matter how wide their screen is. If it's really wide, it'll show black bars on the side. So, let's get started. I've had a few... Uh, issues with this. I've had to redo this several times now. So first off and for, uh, foremost, what we're going to do is you're going to open up your widget down here in the lower right of your viewport. Uh, you're going to see DPI scale. It'll, ha it'll have some arbitrary number beside it. Uh, if you're in 1920 by 1080, it might say 1.0. Uh, click this gear icon right next to it. What you're going to do first is you're going to change your DPI scale scaling from shortest side to scale to fit and then over here you're gonna see scale to fit rule you're gonna pull you're gonna drop down that menu and you're gonna get the resolution that you made your image in in Photoshop you can go to image image size if you need to know that and then you're gonna come back over here and you're gonna enter that resolution right here now you're going to come back over here to your widget uh, under your canvas panel your root canvas panel you're going to see some arrows over here in the lower right you're going to drag that to whatever resolution you want and it'll snap into place In this case, mine is 2560 by 1440. So now you're going to make another canvas panel. You're going to drop a, a canvas panel under your root canvas panel. And you're going to come over here to anchors. And you're going to hold down shift and you're going to press the center uh, icon right here, the one in the center. It'll anchor it to the center. It'll offset it like this. That's all right. Come over here to alignment. Under X and Y, you're going to make it zero. Now everything's uh, fit. Now you're going to make a background image and put a background image underneath that canvas panel. And you're going to go to anchors and the square. What, it, what that'll do is it'll stretch it to fit uh, the size of the canvas that it's under. So you're going to hold down shift and you're going to select that square and you're going to set your offset right and offset bottom to zero, both of them to zero. Now you're going to make another canvas panel and you're going to put that canvas panel underneath your secondary canvas panel, not your root, but your secondary. And you're going to make an image and you're going to put that image underneath it. Now go back to your uh, canvas panel, and I might rename this to uh, pop out canvas panel, just so it's more easily to sign. And I'll make this main canvas panel. Now under this uh, pop out canvas panel, I'm going to come over here to anchors. And because it's the lower left, I'm going to hold down shift and press this bar that's showing up on the lower left side of the canvas. If it were the top, you would do this. But I'm going to uh, do this. Now I'm going to come back down to my image that I uh, made this for, which is underneath that canvas panel. And I'm going to get the, the X offset right here, 720. That's how wide it is. So I'm going to go back over here to the canvas panel. That's going to be my size X. It's, it's going to be a one-to-one -one ratio now because we did this the way, I, that, the, the way that we did this. So under the offset bottom, that's going to be zero. And then you can position it however you want. Now under the image, you're not going to change the anchor unless you want to. You can. But I left mine in the upper left, which is what it is set by default. 
and I set the size X and size Y to the actual image size. Again, one to one ratio, no need to size to content, any of that. Same with the button, same. It's 37 by 55, which is what the image size is. One to one ratio. No more having to manually try to calculate the scale of things based on the DPI, like I tried to show you on the last one. I finally broke down and experimented until I figured this out. If you uh, come over here, if you wanted it to be at the top, you could uh, do that. And then you could say, let's see, your offset right would be zero. And your, uh, and your size Y would be the Y size of your image. So it's it's going to be the same concept. So when you when you go to anchor it to the top, it's going to change these from size X and offset bottom to size Y and offset uh, top. I think offset right. Okay. So yeah, so that's how you would make a menu that's proportional in any on for any side, regardless of bottom. Or, uh, or the left, the right, the top, or the bottom, even for the centers. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope this helped you all.